friend of the Boston Marathon bomber, sentenced to six years behind bars for lying to investigators in the days after the deadly attacks. Nicole Jacobs is live for us at the federal courthouse with the latest. Hi, Nicole. Hi there, Catherine. We did not hear from the Collier family today, but we did hear from Diaz Katerbaev, who stood and addressed the judge just before the judge imposed a sentence he says does not give him a professional satisfaction. Diaz Katerbaev addressed the judge, apologizing for his actions that led him here with a federal conviction for conspiracy and obstruction of justice. I am ashamed, sir, ashamed that I will forever be connected to this terrible act, he said. Katerbaev is accused of removing critical evidence from Johar Zernayev's dorm room after the FBI named him as suspect number two in the marathon bombings. He removed a backpack with fireworks and a laptop instead of contacting police. Katerbaev told the judge, I know this shouldn't have happened. I also know I should have called police. I regret it every day. Now I know every decision has consequences, not only for me, but for the victims. The prosecution argued if only Katerbaev had gone to authorities, MIT officer Sean Collier's life might have been spared. And the defense did tell the judge that Katerbaev's father was the only one who could afford to make the trip here today for the sentencing. He says the family actually sold a car to cover the cost of that. He did speak with the media just moments ago. Here's what he said. I feel proud uh, for my son because uh, he uh, made the speech. He understands what he has done. Uh, and uh, he has grown up. He is a mature person now. And uh, the judge was very wise. And he addressed the media, of course, through that translator. So again, the judge imposed a six-year sentence, which includes time served. He's been in already for uh, over a couple of years now. And that also includes a three-year supervisory sentence. I should also add that the prosecution had requested a $25,000 fine. The judge did not accept that request. We're live in Boston. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News. Thank you very much. On Friday, two more friends will learn their fate as well. Prosecutors are recommending Robel Filippo serve five years, and Azamet Tzayakov could get four years.